Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So today we're going to be covering something a little bit different and this is a tool that will help you streamline your presentation process and pretty much just make your slides look more professional. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So what exactly is SlideHub? Now SlideHub is a cloud-based presentation management platform and it helps you create and share presentations with a breeze. Now, it, you could be a student, a teacher, uh, own a business, or have a bus um, or be a business professional. SlideHub pretty much has everything you need to create that stunning collaborative pres presentation to get those results. However, that isn't all. So pretty much. As well as that, the SideHub's cloud-based platform means that you can access your presentation from anywhere. Now, it could be on any device, whether you're in office, you could be at home, or on the go. And you can easily access your presentations with, and collaborate with your team. So it's a very good uh, sort of teamwork-based uh, tool to use when you're using the presentation. Now you can see where it's demonstrating the video as well. You Feel free to watch this uh, yourself guys. Uh, it's available on the Slide Hub of course. But pretty much with the uh, Slide Hub's customizable permission settings, you, you're able to share your presentation securely with anyone and you can control who can view it, edit or download your presentation, ensuring that your confident, confidential information stays safe. Now what we'll do is we'll have a quick overview on the actual site itself. We'll take a look at some of the uh, different reasons as to why you may want to use SlideHub. Now, as you can see, it, as it says there, uh, you could pretty much just say goodbye to your PowerPoint chaos. Now, running or having a PowerPoint can be a little bit frustrating as well especially if you want to get straight to the point and present some of the stuff that you need. So this is it showing you uh, an area without the slide hub. Now it says for our clients, the world uh, before slide hub is a world of PowerPoint pain. So you could see how individuals would need to share. And of course, none of them are in contact with each other. That's the different team members, as you could see, and they're uh, processing it and passing it on different areas. Now with slide hub, since it's cloud-based as well, uh, it pretty much you're able to share with your colleagues or your friends or anyone within your team, uh, as you could see, and you're able to manage and document all your PowerPoint slides. Uh, so these are some of the uh, companies that are using SlideHub currently, and with all the positive review, you can see how it's boosting their productivity how it's a game changer, makes it easy for employees. There's quite a few different reasons as to why you would want to use a tool like SlideHub. Now, what's great is you do actually get a 14 day free trial. So if you do select the free trial, you'll get that 14 day. Uh, of course, you can have some background information on why you want to use SlideHub, of course, and some of the benefits. Now, feel free as well to contact SlideHub themselves by via phone, email or chat. And of course, as, I, as I've said, you can get an insight on who the company is, what sort of benefits there are. Of course, just have a click through that, have a read through it. But what I want to do now is actually demonstrate quickly on what SlideHub is. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Now that we've uh, created our account, this is what the initial look will be. Now, this is your dashboard. This is pretty much where you'll see all the slides and presentations. So no matter what, uh, it's what, what's great about SlideHub is if you need to take a specific point from a PowerPoint, just say you need a uh, that specific bit of uh, information. You don't need to gather all the information from that PowerPoint. Now, what SlideHub is initially is just a little side tool that you will use for PowerPoint. It's not necessarily a different uh, app. It's just something that will help you. Now you're still using the Microsoft uh, PowerPoint, of course. So, so this is the uh, the homepage, as I've said. Now you can see which is the highly rated, most popular, recently added, all categories. Now depending on who you manage and who you add onto 
the actual area is when just basically for the people who can see. Now you can search for company slides depending on how they've named it as well. You've got your presentations, of course, uh, some of the updated slides, templates. Now it's a great way, of course, if say you have a training course, you could use the slide hub to update and make that training course a lot better. Uh, and for any other colleagues that will have access to it, of course, they can change it about depending on the permissions, of course. And pretty much what Slide Hub is, it's just a detailed analytics, uh, just to see how your presentations look. You can pretty much track your presentation's performance as well, see which slides are the most popular, and get a better understanding on what the audience is engaging into with the content. So based on the content that you have on here, uh, depending on the company, of course, well, if they're looking about for certain information, you can see which is the most popular, then of course you would star that. And what, what uh, Slide Hub is basically is just a way you can help create, share and manage presentations more efficient, efficiently. It sort of saves that hassle with having to go uh, going into the file explorer, having to email that colleague, getting their email, it failing, then you would have to look for alternatives because the file is too big. There's other reasons as to why you would want to use SlideHub. Now, SlideHub is just a manager. It's just a great way to manage all of that content. We'll go ahead and do a quick little demonstration. So I'll go to home here and then, so we'll just go to manage. And this is basically what you could do. You can manage your assets, of course. You've got your contributions, the statistics, uh, asset settings, users and teams. So depending on who you want to invite, so just say we're part of the profile tree team, I can add another member uh, from profile tree and say that they can be a gatekeeper, a manager, accountant, and then send that on. And basically they'll have a area where they can manage the pages or the presentations. Now you've got your contributions as well. Uh, some with some of the top co contributors and then uh, so basically you could have maybe a file uh, stating some of the things that you may want got your assets as well you can manage and so what we want to do is we want to get a presentation in so if you're wanting to add a particular um, file we'll just go ahead and do an, an upload on one uh, as you can see there's some of these settings there where you can do a standalone slide or you can add that as a presentation and you also get a pretty much just a checklist on some of the things that you need to do so we'll go ahead and do a upload on one of the powerpoint presentations so we're going to go ahead and drag and drop one of the files in so as you can see, there's a test PowerPoint and that it contains no sensitive information. So it does scan your slides just to make sure that there's no sensitive information added in. Now you can update multiple, you can add some templates, categories, subcategories, tags, inspiration colors, and placeholders. And you can have personal slides as well. So you can add uh, your personal slides, company icons, if you have any, any sort of company images, um, inspiration slides so there's some of the slides that you can have so of course if there's any company images depending if you want to have your logo you can add them in any of the icons as well uh, you can go ahead and add them in and manage them instead of emailing them to other colleagues uh, so we'll go ahead and do what we were doing there which is adding our test file so of course it scans that for you. Just make sure that there's no sensitive information. So as you can see for the personal slides, it's saying that you can only, only I can see the actual slide and that I can manage and view the content within the personal slide vault. But it says, however, managers of your company can, can and might just uh, adjust the company wide settings to allow more people to view and download your slides. Now, of course, if you upload it in the company slides, but you can't, uh, which you can't do so drag and drop the file 
and you can have it as a standalone slide and as a presentation as I've said earlier on. So once you're done pretty much just click next. You can add a presentation name and call it test. You can mark that as high priority depending if you would like to push this to, towards the team make sure that they see this straight away. It could be a tra training presentation. Now you can add a visual label if you need to as well and pretty much just add it within a category so you can have it within company resources, company introduction, proposals, uh, frameworks and uh, processes. So it's just a great way of course to keep everything organized uh, within the categories. So I want to put that in company resources of course say it is a training uh, presentation and that's where I want to add it onto or if it's uh, int introductory towards new uh, new clients or new uh, team members then you would have to have it in a company introduction and you can have it within testimonials background geographic uh, reach services team of course you can change the subcategories if you need to and of course you can add more for the bullets as well you can add tags and create placeholders. Now, if you're happy enough with what you've got, you'll go ahead and select next. Now, uh, with the slide visibility, depending on how many slides you have, so you can have selected slides as well, so you can specify which slides you want them to see. You can have all slides if you need to, or only as presentation. Uh, so I can have that uh, as only as presentation. We'll go ahead and select next. Now you'll see which slides will be available as you can see this one just says test now depending on how many slides I'll have I can go ahead and I'll specify which sort of slide I want to have for my cover so they could that, that's the first thing that they'll see. So they'll obviously see a blank page or that one of course I've got the test just so I'll go ahead and select that. Now that pretty much just adds it in, uh, finalizes the slides and then of course I can uh, do uh, a slide overview, syncs it up, takes a couple of minutes there. But once that's synced you can pretty much just have a view of the actual uh, slide, you can download that slide and have a look at it. So there's quite a few things you can work with using the slide hub. So now that we've had a quick demonstration on Slide Hub, of course, uh, as you can see, there's other processes that you can go through as well uh, with creating a PowerPoint and adjust things to your liking. Uh, now you can have this, uh, this will be, so you could pretty much just have Slide Hub as an add-on within your PowerPoint presentation. That's where you would want to have it as. Uh, you pretty much just download it through the Microsoft app or however way you're using it uh, on the Mac. And that's just the demonstration of course, you can watch the demo as well. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and look at the pricing. So as you can see uh, with the asset platform, you'll have that within 200 US dollars per month and you'll have company and team slides, you'll have a personal slide vault, company icons, company images, Cloud enabled speed, uh, you ha you'll have 3000 plus inspiration slides, 100,000 SVG icons, uh, high quality pictures and illustrations. And then of course with the add-on service, which is 35 US dollars an hour, which is eight hours medium turnaround. You've got a on-brand based on guidelines. You can give access to selected employees and for 50 US dollars, there's a couple of just different ones there. Uh, so depending on what you uh, support you would want to add to your slide hub, you can have it on. And of course it come, goes all the way up to 25 US, 2500 US dollars per each new template or style. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the slide hub overall. Hopefully that gives you a quick insight on using it and maybe managing your teams. So it's of course great for when things are getting a little bit out of hand when sharing and bullet pointing each of the PowerPoints. You may want to use that sort of tool. Slide Hub would be it. So it's a great um, management tool, of course. Uh, as a business owner, it's something that you want to maybe invest on. 
But yes, guys, uh, so if you want to be more efficient when using the PowerPoint uh, or the PowerPoint up, give this uh, tool a go. Try it out, see where you can take your presentations to. Um, you can have them within the next level, pretty much. And it's a great way to um, share your information uh, with colleagues as well, or even just to have it within clients. So there's many opportunities that you could use with SlideUp. Uh, of course, if you guys have any questions at all, please do leave them down in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thanks for watching.